What's up YouTube, ODST General back again with another Operation Trebuchet video. Uh, once again, we're back in Optray Ops. Uh, we are going to play Operation Hillside as Spartans. This operation takes place on Gao instead of Tanoa. Uh, Gao is, of course, my own terrain, so this is a pretty exciting mission for me. Now, I've played it through to near completion previously, however... Uh, there seemed to be a bug in the mission where I was expecting a pelican pickup and it never came. Uh, I don't know if that was because the pelican was bugged or if because the location I was supposed to be at just wasn't showing up properly. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play this. I don't know if it's been updated at all since then, uh, but we'll try to play through to completion. This was a pretty difficult mission, probably the... Uh, the most difficult mission, I might even say. It, it's a toss-up between the two Spartan missions, that's for sure. Um, admittedly, I haven't played all of the missions quite yet, but uh, just just from my own experience with them so far, that's definitely the case. You know what? Just occurs me, I forgot to read off all the, the mission operation stuff like I've done in the last few videos. Uh, so basically, really quick, let me just really briefly go over what's basically going on is we've got firebase rock here and uh, the insurrectionists have holed up they've got an officer in here we need to capture uh, but more importantly they've got a nuke in here somewhere that they've stolen from the UNSC and uh, we've got to try and stop them from using that now uh, in addition to my own four-man Spartan team including myself uh, we've got we're Raider 1, Raider 2 who's just started their assault you can hear them in the background uh, we'll be assaulting from the front of the base here, and they will be working to distract the enemies and pull them away. Now, I'm assuming this guy right here, this man, is probably the officer we want, but uh, we're going to hold off for just a second while they try to draw away these guys and uh, see if we can't get in there and capture this officer. Now, this capturing this officer is probably going to be the trickiest part. He's an optional objective, so if we can't capture him, it's not the end of the world, but uh, I would like to capture him. Uh, I haven't been able to successfully do that yet as he's died every time I've tried, so we'll see what we can do here. Um, getting some frame drops a little bit. He did not want to go down. Oh boy. I think they know I'm here. This is a uh, pretty intense firefight, and this isn't even necessarily her part. Can't identify that guy. I'm going to hope this is not the officer. He doesn't appear to be. Oh, that was the officer. I just killed him. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Rifleman, 75 meters. Front. Move back. Roger that. Move back. Solid copy. Man, 75 meters. Front. Uh, I think our officer just got meters. killed. Front. Man, 75 no, he's front. running through the base, yeah. I didn't get killed, but try and stop him from shooting at the officer. I've got somebody shooting at me with a shotgun, which I don't particularly like that much. He's got to be right there on the other side of those buildings. Maybe he's inside? I don't think that would be the other Spartan team. The, uh, looks like the other Spartan team may have made it into the base over there. It's hard to say for sure. Out of ammo. It says the base is clear, but I'm, uh, I'm not too certain of that, so we're gonna hold off for just a second. We're gonna count that we've actually got this officer. Good for you. You're, that was your first time surviving that assault. Uh, I'm kind of curious where this is gonna go now. Move left. 
Um, so you guys just stay outside the base for a second here. The other Spartan team's moving in. They're gonna clear the base for us, but we need to uh, we need to move around and find this nuke. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, really quick go through here. I don't really like clearing out these shacks here because of that shotgun I was hearing before. I'm just kind of worried that I'm gonna open a door and there's gonna be a shotgun waiting in there for me. So there's the nuke. So we've got our primary objective uh, completed here. Now we've just got to wait for evac. So that was a, a pretty simple mission so far. Um, we'll see how things go. I've actually, like I said, I've never captured the officer. I don't know if this will uh, affect how this mission goes forward or anything like that. Uh, got all sorts of goodies in here. Somebody was not having a good day. They've got med packs and. Uh, blood and gloves and all sorts of stuff. There's a body bag which can't quite tell if that has a person in it but it looks like it does. MREs, all sorts of stuff. Maybe he ate the MRE. That's what caused that. But uh, yeah, Raider 2 is in here. It looks like they're uh, they're going out to secure the base. There's our ride right there. So we're going to go ahead and tell my guys to regroup. Have them come back into the base here. Once again, the vehicles from Insurrection Plus, which is required to play the uh, the Optray Ops campaign. Oh man, that solid 20 FPS right there. This is a uh, 32 bit I am currently playing in. I, I was uh, working on this map actually not too long ago, just uh, about 20, 30 minutes ago, and I was running that to uh, do some stuff in the editor, so. Kind of taking some performance stuff as a hit just to verify that was all working properly and get uh, my editing stuff working correctly. Okay, so the team is still really trying hard to get in here. Um, whispering here for some reason. So I've got five people if you include this officer and there's oh wait now there is five seats isn't there I forget there's that middle seat okay no we're good we got this we are solid okay just gotta wait for our last couple guys to get into the base here might have to leave that last guy behind I don't know what he's got going on the map. I'm gonna run over there and just take a quick peek, see what's going on with this guy. Okay, he's, uh, I guess he's gonna sit there. Uh, he might be getting kind of stuck like with the barbed wire and the terrain or something. I, I really don't know what would be causing that, but uh, we're uh, we're not going to sit here and wait for him all day. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, get on ourselves and get out of here. Hopefully, hopefully he'll continue on in the mission, provided the mission continues on. Uh, we should have an extra seat for him right there in the middle, but it is what it is. So we've got our shotgunner, our battle rifle guy, the assault rifle guy, which is myself. And the silenced SMG is going to stay at the base. Got ourselves a couple of marines as a security escort, I guess. Oh, we're getting locked on. Oh, took a hit. Probably not quite as cinematic as my last time getting shot down in the uh, in the Falcon, but uh, 
the end result's a lot better. Uh, Raider 1, are you still there? Raider 1, come in. Crossroads, this is Raider 1. We got shot down. Over. And acknowledged. Making or marking possible AA sites now. Pull up those AA trucks. We can't get you out otherwise. So, um, let's take stock of what we've got going on here. So, I've gained uh, an additional person. It looks like we've got uh, command of one of the Marines as well. Uh, as our Spartan team. So I've got four guys with me, uh, plus my other Spartan who's still back at base. So that is unfortunate. That is uh, going to be one of my heaviest hitters out of the uh, out of the match, as it were. Um, our pilot's down, so we're going to go ahead. We're just going to uh, we're going to get the biofoam off of him, and uh, I'm not really worried about that. And then should probably be a marine. Yep, there's a marine right there. I'm going to get the biofoam off of him too. Maybe. He's got a shotgun. That is tempting, but I think I'm probably going to just ignore that. This is a pretty awesome crash right here, if I do say so. Um, yeah, I really like this uh, this crash scene here. So my team's uh, pretty much ready to go. Uh, I know I've, I've already played through here so I know we're gonna encounter really stiff resistance and even with me editing the train uh, at the request of a couple of people uh, it's still a uh, it's still gonna be a rough ride getting through so this is our possible AA site over here so we need to get here to this uh, to this house to take it out it's not going to be easy so let's uh, let's go ahead and head up now I'm gonna go slightly out of the way here. It's uh, it's actually a pretty long walk over there, but uh, I'm gonna try to avoid some of these guys. I waited around too long. They patrolled right into me. There's a floating tree. Somebody needs to talk to this map maker about this. This is uh, it's pretty poor quality. I don't know how much protection a floating tree will afford me. The officer just went down, and one of my other guys is already pretty severely injured. Um, this is a pretty, pretty tough spot. Try and get closer on these guys if I can. There's a lot of them in here. And they keep dropping smoke, which is making this even tougher. But that's uh, that's what I wanted. I wanted this the train to be a challenge when you're up in these uh, hills and stuff here. I mean, that's certainly doing the trick. He got away. Well, I knocked him down, but he's still alive. Now he's dead. So we uh, we lost another guy. We're now down to two Spartans plus our our one guy in the way back. It looks like we probably lost. Oh shoot! I'm, I'm assuming we lost uh, a Marine, given how fast he died. The Spartans are pretty tough. Although I don't hear a shotgun, which might mean our shotgun Spartan died. This other guy's got me really pinned down here. I need them to target him. Target. Get some of this, uh... Get some of this pressure off of me here. Uh, where is he? 
I don't see him in here at all. Oh, shoot. Where am I getting hit from? There he is. Okay, we're gonna heal up, and then we're gonna go blast that guy. Blow him away. Ooh. Uh, so it looks as if I lost a Spartan too. So I got my battle rifle Spartan, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. He's probably one of the worst guys to have in this situation. I've got a uh, MA5B Marine, which it's actually a little bit better. Fall back. So he might be injured here. So let's uh, yeah, let's treat him. So yeah, things are going a little bit worse than my last playthrough because I had uh, I did have my other Spartan. At least uh, at least he's catching up. I've got my SMG guy coming in here. He's got his pistol out for some reason. Um, got some screen shaking going on I don't know I don't know where that officer went down at they were all down here somewhere um, if I could get I don't know if I'd want that shotgun but if I could get that shotgun that might be the best idea potentially uh, it's, it's hard to say uh, there's the officer that's where he went down is right there and he had a, he had a shotgun too oh, I didn't mean to go in there Get me out of here. Oh no, that's not the officer. That's uh, it's a random mini they killed. No, oh, we'll take his biofoam and his smoke grenade. I'll definitely, without a doubt, make use of those. I'll make use of these grenades here too. Okay, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and move out. I don't know where the rest of my guys went down at. And uh, I guess it probably doesn't matter that much. I can uh, just loot biofoam from the uh, insurrectionists as I go along here. Uh, yeah, I did. Unfortunately, like I said, waited. To, I waited far too long to uh, move up. We could have probably been in a uh, better position to avoid that patrol. Unfortunately, I ended up basically getting ambushed by them. I mean, it is kind of how that patrol is set up: is to come in and kind of hit you, at, like just as you're getting your bearings. And uh, you know, it's it's a semi-open encounter, but there's a lot of uh, brush and foliage there. So we're only 800 feet away, which can be pretty quick in Arma, but it can also be very, very long if uh, if you're engaged against guys. And uh, there is a lot of guys to be engaged against here. I'm going to move further up in this direction here. Uh, so yeah, we're moving kind of northwest. So that's uh, Campos, uh, Campos City should be over here in this direction if I remember correctly. And uh, we just kind of want to go up there, get out to the road, and uh, sweep back down south and hit those uh, AA sites from the road. There's a lot less cover from up here, but we have the advantage of better line of sight on the enemies, which... Uh, that might not mean much to the AI, but that's going to mean a lot of advantage to me in how I actually go about engaging these guys. Um, it's kind of interesting. Like, normally when I play through these missions, I just kind of go through and I, I blast people and just, you know, just it's all about shooting them and, you know, kind of fishing the barrel thing or picking them off at range and. I don't really normally think about how I'm going to actively engage the enemy or approach a situation. It's just like, okay, I'm just going to go in how it's basically set for me to go in. And, uh... Matt, 100 meters, front. And do it. So, uh, we're approaching a building here. Uh, I got a marker at that building right there in front of us. 
That is not the location they have the uh, AA site at, but they did suggest there was multiple AA sites. Uh, so this is probably where this other one's located. Actually, I know exactly that it's located there. In fact, I can see it right there. Um, there is at least one guy here from my previous playthrough, but uh, I can't just trust. Yeah, see, there's multiple guys there. So I was going to say I can't just trust that it's only going to be one guy. Oh, there's three guys there now. Yeah, there wasn't that many last time. I can't shoot to save my life. And I'm out of ammo. I'm in trouble. That grenade could have been a lot better, both that one and the first one. <laughs> uh, there was three guys. Somebody's unaccounted for here. One, two. Three. Okay. Take his grenade, get into his inventory here, take his biofoam, we'll take another, uh... oh, so that's, uh, it's going off. Move right. Roger. Okay, come on guys, gather up. It looks like I need to heal up the Marine again, he took a hit in that engagement. Uh, there's our two Spartan scouts. They're not really uh, being efficient right now. They're not using their primary weapons. Unfortunately, there is uh, little I can do to uh, kind of engage them to uh, actually use their proper weapons for this situation. And for the SMG, it might actually be better for him to use the pistol, but that's certainly not the case for the battle rifle. Okay, so the uh, room got wounded right away again. Do the magic treatment of that guy as he uh, walks away. Trying to really trying to keep him alive. It's my my big goal here. Uh, ooh, shoot! I got to keep myself alive too. Not sure where that guy's engaging me from. There's a couple guys along the wood line there. Uh, you know, they're already engaging him, but uh, just in case they're not engaging him as much as they can, like, say, not using a battle rifle. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's the stopping power of the pistol in the mod or something, but, yeah, they, they really seem to prefer the, the Optre pistols. Um, I can get that with the sniper. And I can get that in more ranged engagements with the shotgun, but I don't know. When it comes to use of the pistol over a battle rifle or an SMG in some of these situations, it just doesn't make any sense. Well, standing up higher didn't do anything there for me. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of at a, a disadvantage with this terrain now. Uh, the open spaces are giving me longer lines of sight, but the grass being tall and then being lower on the hill than these guys is preventing me from actually seeing them. I could kind of cheat and go into third person here see if that helps. Which, it really didn't seem to help a whole lot. I don't see that guy still. I am getting markers over here on this other side of this hill, too. Rifleman, 100 meters, right flank, contact. Rifleman, 200 meters, front. Contact, MRAP. Rifleman, 200 meters, front. Fall back. Solid copy. Contact, MRAP, 200 meters, front. 
That Marine is wounded again. Not sure where I'm being shot at from. So we're gonna push further down here towards this road. Kind of a steep incline there, but for our Spartan, that's not a problem with his increased stamina. Uh, we can sprint for a pretty good while here before getting tired, and that's uh, that's carrying a pretty solid amount of ammunition and stuff, so. second let that stamina recharge which recharges very quickly it's so awesome <laughs> and that's uh, I, I really feel like this was a good way of doing Spartans I mean I from what I understand they'll be getting shielding so we'll have shielded and non shielded versions um, which will be good Okay, so that grenade was pretty much right on top of that guy. I don't know if it did anything, though. You've got a few good rounds into me before I'm down. Uh, we need to take out that warthog there. Move up. How he didn't die I, from that grenade, I don't know. That's pretty amazing. Our Marine is, uh, he's putting in work though. He's really trying to take this guy out for us. He's, uh, he's the MVP of our team for sure. Uh, do I have any first aid kits left? That Warthog, despite the broken physics, is really playing a lot of suppressive fire down. Contact. Man. 100 meters front. There's that guy over there trying to get down here. Alright, perfect. Okay, so this gives me the opportunity to get up here behind this guy and just lob a few grenades over. Probably need to arc it a little bit higher than that. I thought he was still alive, but no, he's dead. Cool. My guys are pretty badly messed up. Uh, looks like we lost another Spartan. I think uh, Johnson was the Marine. Let's swing over this way here. Yeah, he is the Marine. Got one first aid kit left. We're going to use that on him. Because, uh, like I said, he's seems to be the only one pulling his weight. That uh, didn't quite do the trick. He's still pretty wounded. Uh, let's go over here. Let's get our Spartan. So pretty, pretty bad mission as far as uh, casualties and stuff have gone. We lost our uh, lost two Spartans. We lost our secondary objective. That officer. We lost. Uh, pilot and the marine in the crash Contact. Rifleman. Yeah, I gotta keep in mind this uh, assault rifle is not as high a caliber as um, Gosh, what weapon was I using that other mission? Was it the battle rifle? 
I think I was using. No, 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 no. All right, we're gonna switch to something a little bit more powerful. Meant to rearm, but it's fine. I actually prefer this weapon to the uh, assault rifle. Where did that guy go? Did he die? Oh. Okay, I did get him. Cool. Well, we need something a little bit uh, heavier duty here to take this out, so I think this will work just well enough. Alright. Target. Man. Front. Alright, he's uh, sneaking up on us there. I got to my map, he ran up and tried to take the opportunity to hit me from the side. I don't know exactly where he's at now though, but I'm pretty sure he's over in this direction. I don't want to pull out this rocket until I know he's uh, he's cleared out from there. Okay, so he may be taken care of. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over here. I'm going to blast this warthog from over here by the southern marine. Oh, yep, there's our, uh, there's our other missing in action guy. Okay, that's uh, one warthog down. We're now getting that marker for that second warthog we had originally uh, secured. Try and keep a little bit further down the hill here and uh, avoid getting shot if possible. There's our uh, pelican pickup is actually there now. He's just sitting there hanging in the air. Uh, he's making his way over. He's been uh, he's been shot a few times. He's not doing so good. I'm wondering if it got shot down last time I played. Uh, the AA was shooting stuff, so that wouldn't actually be beyond uh, reason if that were to be the case. Um, yeah, not the uh, not the greatest mission, but at least we've completed it. I think, like I said last time, I didn't get well. I disabled that uh, the AA warthogs last time, but I didn't get picked up by the pelican. In fact, I didn't even see it come and pick me up or coming. So uh, it looks like it's getting ready to land here. It's going up a lot higher, so it's probably trying to slow down. But there is a ton of smoke trailing from that thing, so I don't know. It it may be that that was taking damage from the anti-air warthogs. Yeah. 
Given the length of the other missions, this one's a little bit longer than the other missions. Um, there's a lot more enemies and a lot bigger uh, area to cover, I guess. Well, in some ways. Uh, so I can imagine that this is probably us getting picked up right here in the end of the mission. We'll find out, though. Oh, the, the Marine was Morgan. Morgan, hold up. Okay, not heal you anymore. I still have first aid kits, right? I got one. Yeah, I don't know if a uh, nuclear device is worth two Spartans. I mean, you know, the the potential life saves are invaluable, but by the same token, like cost wise. <laughs> Still whispering. Okay, so the Spartans gonna be the first one to get in, Mister. I don't get into the vehicle in the first place. Partially blame him for some of the uh, early casualties. Yeah, there's a mission complete as soon as we get in. Full success. Uh, not quite full success. We failed our secondary objective. While we did manage to extract the uh, the officer, he did die shortly afterwards. Um, well, no, because the officer died. And I couldn't find his body, and I didn't check to see if he had anything on him. So, yeah, Douglas Wilson and Ryan Jones were our um, Spartans, and then Leventus was the... URF officer. Uh, we did kill uh, the M12 Warthog machine gun, the uh, two AA Warthogs, a URF officer, and then we've killed another 15 guys, it looks like. I mean, it feels like a lot more than 15. Uh, yeah, so you can see failed secondary objective, captured the officer because he died. Alright, guys. That was uh, Operation Hillside. Um, now, I did skip Shady Deals and a couple others here uh, because I'm expecting an Operation Trebuchet update uh, today, probably about next, uh, I don't know, 7 to 12 hours, probably, realistically, if it comes out today. Um, so, if it does come out today, it's almost assuredly going to break these missions as uh, Spartans will be changed from Optre Z into the main mod, uh, removing them from Optre Z. Uh, the uniforms will be changing, which will break all the uh, standard Marines and stuff there in this, and uh, it'll probably also break the uh, Insurrection Plus mod, so this is going to get like completely ruined for like a few days or a week or so. Anyways, guys, uh, I know this was kind of a quiet video. It's a late night recording. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video.